Hi everybody, welcome in. Let's just take a moment to open up our hearts and our mind to the divine truth, love, clarity, guidance, and wisdom that wishes to come through today for us. Welcome in everybody. A warm welcome to all of you. And let's get into this. Let's see what wants to come through for you. Okay. The anointment is complete. The crown is upon your head. The purple cape, the violet cape is upon your shoulders. Wear it with pride. Wear it with that inner knowingness that you have been gifted this spiritual knowledge. Due to your commitment to discovering the truth. You are a person of high morals and values. You have always been a truth seeker. And now that you have started to get curious and explore and gather more information, you've acquired more knowledge. But with this knowledge, you have discovered <laughs> that you have more questions than answers. You have more questions than ever before. You may have acquired more information and knowledge, but now with this knowledge comes more questions. <laughs> Okay. Keep seeking, truth seeker. Keep seeking and you shall find. There's a clicking. I think I got it. Crown Chakra Upgrade, Divine Connection, Holy Experiences, Miraculous Energy. So your crown chakra is developing at this time at great speed. Your connection to source is stronger than ever before. Many of you may be learning ancient teachings, ancient teachings from sources that you never expected to gain information from. You're branching out. You're exploring. You're staying open-minded. You're keeping your heart and your soul open. And therefore, you are acquiring a lot of beautiful d divine wisdom from different sources. And again, they may be from really surprising sources that you never thought you would tap into. Your path has led you down to a specific book <laughs> that you never thought you'd read. Many of you are learning about ancient languages, hieroglyphs, sim symbology, numerology, cosmology, astrology, a lot of different things. And this is just opening up your world. And it's leading to more inspiration. And it's divinely inspired, divinely inspired ideas. Thoth Light Codes, Light Initiation, Great Teacher Awakening, Divine Magic. So you have gone through an initiation recently, actually many initiations. And the last initiation that you went through, it was to see if you could hold more light. Would you be able to handle the amount of light that the divine gave to you? Or... Would you not? And you prove that you could. You could handle it and you could protect it. 
and you would yield it wisely. You are a teacher, a master teacher, and you hold ancient wisdom within you. You have studied under certain ascended masters in past lives, and you continue to work with these ascended masters today, although you are in the living world, so to speak, and the Ascended Masters are in the spirit world. And in order to continue this partnership, or in order to foster this partnership, you had to step onto the spiritual path. You had to answer the call. You had to open up to the Ascended Masters and the Divine. You had to raise your vibrational frequency so that it would be at a high enough frequency for you to connect with spirit, connect with the divine, and connect with the ascended masters. You are extremely magical, and you've only scratched the surface. Your interests will lead you down a path of limitless ideas and inspiration. Lots of doors are about to open for you. Follow the breadcrumb trail that spirit is leaving. Keep learning. Keep growing. Keep ascending. The central sun. Abundance downloads, regeneration, success. Great success is on its way to you due to this heightened awareness that you have achieved. Great success is on its way to you because you have expanded your consciousness. You've opened your heart and your mind to divine truth, love, clarity, guidance, and wisdom. Your crown chakra has gotten to this place of development now where you will be able to effortlessly connect to the higher realms. Expect a huge download to come in soon. And when you receive this download... It will be up to you what you decide to do with it. If you decide to act on this download, you can rest assured that it will lead to abundance, spiritual wealth, monetary wealth, healing, love, laughter, creation, and liberation. It will allow you to live freely and truthfully to who you really truly are at a soul level. It will allow you to express yourself authentically. You will be showing the world who you truly are and what you can do. Many of you will be finding that your physical appearance will be shifting. You are going to look younger. Your skin will be luscious and shiny and taut. <laughs> I'm getting that word. I'm getting the word taut. Oh my gosh. It will be, your skin will look like you are 20 years old. And you may find that you just stop aging altogether. And when you are 80 years old, people will think you are 30. But yet, that is a, you have a long way to go before you are 80.
I am presence, light body activation, accessing the divine within. You have been gifted more light because you have learned how to handle the light within you. You've learned how to protect it and use it well. You use this light for personal liberation and to help liberate humanity. You use your light for the greatest and highest good of all. And this was a test. We gave you more light to see what you would do with it and we are extremely pleased with your decisions and choices. You have been activated to occupy the highest frequency that you have ever occupied in this lifetime. Aches and pains that had once plagued you disappear. Fear, worry, and anxiety disappear as you stand in divine truth, love, clarity, and that ancient inner knowingness of the I am presence. I am divine. I am a child of God. I am a child of source. I am magical. I am a great teacher. I am successful. I am limitless. I am love. The anointment is complete. The Magician and the Ace of Wands, Divine Inspiration. As above, so below. You are magical. You hold the key to success. You hold the key to enlightenment. You hold the key to the answers you seek. The devil. You have moved beyond devil energy. Devil energy that chains and binds you to it. Causing you to live a life of fear, worry, anxiety, doubt, lack, limiting beliefs. A life where karmic patterns and mindsets may have once had a hold on you. But you have broken free from these devil chains. The devil energy cannot exist in you anymore because you are too full of light and love. The light wins. Love wins. You came into this lifetime with a lot of karmic patterns and cycles to you came into this lifetime with karmic patterns that you were meant to break, and you have. You've cleared a lot of karma. You've overcome addictions, codependency, and fear. Fear being the biggest block for you in this lifetime. Six of Cups. Many of you are entering this phase of your life where your childhood dreams and wishes are coming true. Many of you had a dream as a child to be someone. And somewhere along the way, you forgot about that dream. But recently, this desire has been awakened within you. And you are of this mindset where you realize that you can have that if you wish. 
if you choose to pursue it. The Four of Wands. You have achieved a state of balance and stability. You have built a solid foundation for yourself. You have worked on your emotional, physical, mental, and spiritual stability. And this is a strong foundation upon which you will build success for yourself and your loved ones. You and your loved ones are safe. The Ace of Pentacles. This is the central sun. This is the abundant, the abundance, rather, download. The abundance download. This will be an idea, an epiphany, a feeling, a thought, a vision, a gut feeling that you will receive. And again, it is up to you whether or not you walk through the garden gates with this Ace of Pentacles. It is up to you whether or not you decide to plant this idea into the fertile soil and grow it or not. It's completely up to you. The Five of Wands. Do not worry about being seen or being heard. Some of you are struggling with the idea of putting yourself out there. Spirit wants you to know that everything is going to be okay. You can move forward in full faith, knowing that you are meant for great things and to not be afraid of success. Don't be afraid of being powerful because this may scare you. You may be still a little bit hesitant in terms of opening up and sharing your light, sharing your gifts. Know that it is safe to do so and you have nothing to fear. The lovers. It's important for you to follow your heart, make heart-based decisions, and avoid getting caught in the trap that is the mind. Yeah, <laughs> the Eight of Swords. Avoid getting caught in the trap that is the mind. The Eight of Swords is a mental prison. You have this light within you. And you are of this extremely high vibration and you are backed by the divine. But for some of you, you may still have a slightly lingering devil energy that creeps back in and puts you up in your head. This is the moment where you take out your sword of truth and you blast away any fear or doubt or worry or anxiety that may be keeping you feeling stuck or conflicted when it comes to birthing this new beginning for yourself. You were given this light so that you can share it and you can help others transcend this devil energy as well. Know that you are headed towards a space of stability. Your finances are looking up. Knight of Wands, go after that which excites you. Follow your passions. Your passions lead to stability. The Ace of Swords, the truth will set you free. If you need to borrow Archangel Michael's Sword of Truth, you can do so in order to cut yourself free 
from any lingering fear that may be holding you back from really shining The divine wants you to know that you are ready and that a breakthrough moment is headed your way. Enlightenment, knowledge, and epiphany is headed your way. The High Priestess. This breakthrough will be in discovering ancient wisdom stored within your soul. This breakthrough will be understanding yourself at a deeper level. Many of you are going to be able to see beyond the veil very clearly. You are incredibly psychic, incredibly ancient, very powerful. Your journey mainly consisted of challenges surrounding overcoming fear and overthinking. For many of you, you have overcome these completely. For some of you, you still have a couple battles yet to fight, but you are close. You are very close. You are meant to inspire others to do the same. You are here to help other people overcome the same types of challenges that you faced along your journey. Again, these challenges mainly consisted of overcoming fear, worry, doubt, lack, limiting beliefs, and overthinking. You have no idea what's still to come. This is just the beginning. Spirit wants you to get excited, really excited for what's to come. Life is a mystery. And there are so many mysteries yet still to uncover and solve as you move along this journey. You are a beacon of light and hope for others. Never doubt this. You are holding something in your hands <laughs> that is extremely powerful. This could be a work of art, a book. It could be something that you have channeled out. It could be music. It could be anything, but you have acted as a conduit to bring forth some sort of knowledge that people need, okay? And it is time for you to allow the world to see the real you whilst still maintaining a bit of mystery and intrigue. You will know what to share and how much to share when the time is right. Trust your intuition. Prepare, prepare for a breakthrough moment that you did not see coming, even though you are all seeing, all knowing and very psychic, the divine still has a way of surprising people. Okay, so there is still a breakthrough moment coming through that's going to pleasantly surprise you and get ready for that. Okay, get ready. All right. This is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. You have been gifted this beautiful light. And I can't wait to see what you do with it. So 
all the best on your journey and remember to stay aligned and I'll see you around. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.